Okay, today is Sunday, December 8th, 2013, and uh, this morning, it's about noontime, we had a fire going in the fireplace. Eddie and I were sitting in these chairs, eh, reading and having hot beverages, but this table, let me put this over here, my other reading material. You know, this little, this is our makeshift end table. And it, it doesn't, it's very limited. It doesn't work too well. And the problem with it is, you know, you move this, if there's a fire in the fireplace, you move this too close and it, it melts the shape of this plastic cylinder. So, I'm going to see, I've got a tape measure. I want to see. See, I, I would like a table that is about, let's say, 18, yeah, like, like 18 inches by, by 18 inches tall, 18 inches wide, and about 36 inches long, about the size of a bench. I'd like a small table that could also be used as a bench, you know, and I'd, I'd like to make it out of, I got a lot of scrap wood in the house, like this. Okay, these look pretty good. Let's see, let's see what we got here. Okay, that's about four and three eighths of an inch. And that's, that's the same thing. Um, it's got these door stops on them that could come out, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this down and take a look at these. Let's see. Oh, these are these are in nice shape on the back. Okay, these look like. Okay, those are nice. I could I mean, a little bit of fire damage up at one of them, but I I could cut these down and use them as a tabletop. Okay, we'll see we'll see how that goes. Okay, I found. A, couple of spare pieces of wood from the scrap wood pile. I brought them into uh, my makeshift workshop that I have set up. Uh, these are the two pieces of wood. They are door surrounds and they have a piece of molding attached to them called door stop molding. And for me to use these uh, as planks in a, in a small bench or coffee table, I need to remove this part, this is the molding, and I do that by by basically taking a putty knife and a hammer and getting underneath and prying it up, which I've already done. And uh, before I did that, I, I I basically fastened these down to my work table with these clamp with these wood clamps, and so I've got that there, and I've I've got my tools. And what I'll do is I'll I'll pry away the doorstop molding with my pry bar, also known as a crowbar. So we'll, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, I just finished uh, removing uh, the old doorstop molding from these two pieces of cedar door frame uh, lumber. And what I did after I did that was I, I also went uh, into you know the front room it doesn't have a lot of light. I brought out a lot of a lot of the scrap wood uh, that that I've taken out of this house. This these were around you know a burnt door frame, uh, but the wood is still in really good shape. Um, and you know this is some more. This is one by four over here. This is a piece of plywood that might come in handy as reinforcement. Um, and I realized that to make a, a, a coffee table bench seat, sort of multi-purpose little table, I, I realized that these, these boards here, which I like, they're a little wide. I calculated out the, you know, the space, like four of them would come out, it would end up making it wider than 18 inches. I want the top of this table to be 18 by 36 inches. And so I have these which are a little narrower. 
And the reason I want that is because this is a table that we could set outside, and if it gets rained on, I want a space between the boards so that, you know, the boards can expand and contract with the weather, and they can dry out if they get rained on, you know, that kind of thing. And so now I'm, I'm looking at the scrap lumber that I have. I'm, uh, here's, here's something. I, I don't know what it is or where it came from. It's something we found in the house. Uh, these would make a good uh, structure for the legs. Um, and what I plan to do is I plan to put around the edges of the tabletop, I plan to put a, like a, a little three-inch skirt. And that's... that's uh, that'll be made from this material here. And then uh, that, that sort of skirting material will, will taper to a leg at the corner of each leg. And for that, I'll be using this material over here. And, and those materials will be attached to these. The, this will be the unseen structure underneath, underneath the, uh, the finished material that's on the outside of the table. Um, so I'm, I'm going to put these away and save these for another project for later. And I'm kind of play around with this. The, the problem with these, these are the right size, but they have all these nails in them. And I have to put, put them on the work table and I have to take a hand. I have to take all, I have to remove all the nails. Uh, but I, I know how to do that. So, you know, that's not a problem. And I went into uh, the other room among all, my, all of our storage boxes. This is one of our storage boxes. Uh, this box, as it says on the label, tool belt on top. There's my, my old tool belt. Uh, it also has nails, screws, nuts, bolts, other fasteners, etc. So I rifled through this box, and what I pulled out were the types of screws that I can use. Let's see, yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a flathead screw that I can use, and that'll go through... Um, you know, three quarters of an inch thick uh, wood, and that that's that's the wood that I'm using for this project. And if I need larger ones, I, I have a variety of sizes of flathead screws uh, that I can use here. So, so I'm I'm going to play around with these materials and see what I come up with. There it is. Okay, what I've done is I've cut. Uh, I removed all the nails out of these. Uh, pieces of one by four. These were used upstairs as trim around one of the closet doors uh, built out over the stairs. And uh, so what I've done is I've, I've reclaimed the wood, I, I removed all the nails, and I've cut uh, these pieces into 36 inch lengths, and then the ends are going to be 18 inches, and so I subtracted uh, the width of, of these boards and this came out to about 16 and a half inches. Um, it was a little less. It was actually 16 and 3 eighths inches because these are not exactly uh, three quarters of an inch thick. You know, the, the, it's wood, so the measurements vary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these. I've got basically this is um, what we call a skirt, a surrounding skirt around the top, what's going to be the top of the table or the bench. And I'm going to put some boards in here, um, and I'm going to have to figure out uh, what the boards are going to be attached to. So I'm going to have to basically figure out a structure to go within this. Uh, but what I'm going to do to make sure this is a square, this is going to be a rough piece of outdoor furniture, but I'm going to make an effort to make it as square as possible. One way to do that is to clamp. I'm going to take these furniture clamps, and I'm going to clamp them on either end to sort of square up. Uh, as you can see, you know, the, the boards are kind of twisty and warped. You know, they're not really square. So I'm, I'm going to try to make them as square as possible, and I'm going to work from there. And what I have over here, here's, here's the boards. Uh, the, these are the boards that I had to remove nails from. And then these, none of these boards have nails in them, so I'll, I'll be using these for some of the structure uh, that goes underneath the, the finished boards that show, that show on top. And I got got all my tools set up over here. Okay, we'll see. I'm going to clamp this up and, and work on this a little more. We'll see how this goes. Okay, what I've done is I've clamped I've clamped these boards in 
about as square as they'll go. Uh, they're, I, they're clamped in, I, you know, I turn these, they clamped in nice and tight. I can lift this up, I can move it around, and, and you know, that way I can, I can work inside and, you know, attach some boards and figure this out. Um, what I did is I, I grabbed my tape measure and I tighten these up so that when I measure it, basically the, the width comes to 18 inches. So, so let's see. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's a little, a little less. Let's see. It's about, where am I? There it is. Okay. It's a little less on the middle, but let's take a look at the ends. Let's see. Yeah, it's about, oh, it's right on the nose. There it is. Let's let's check on this one. Yeah, this one. It's it's right at 18 inches. Okay. So I'm going to work on this, and and you know we'll we'll see we'll see what happens. Okay, what I've done now, I brought out a second set of clamps, and I've clamped them clamped them lengthways because I've got, I have these roughly one by four boards positioned in inside the, the one by four frame. And uh, basically I, I took a, a rubber mallet and just pounded them in. They're all, they're all just sitting in there with tension. So I've got two more. I'm gonna have to, to complete this, I'm, I'm gonna put two more boards in here and, and I'm hoping that they'll be you know, just like a maybe an eighth of an inch of space between each board, because uh, this this is going to be a piece of outdoor furniture, and I you know I'd like for it to have room to breathe and room to expand and contract and, and to dry out, and so so I've taken oops I'm hemmed in here, I have to walk around the other the other way, and what I've got over here is. I have, using my wood clamps, I've clamped this in, and this is the line I've drawn. I have to cut on this side of the line, and I've got it lined up with one, well, one of the channels that I have built into my work table, so I'll be able to, to saw over this and saw right through, because it, the, it'll saw into this, this channel here. Okay, we'll see how this goes. Okay, it's a little dark. <laughs> the sky's clouded over. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon here on Sunday, December 8th, 2013. I've got this. God, it's so hard to see. I've got this uh, right pretty much where I want it. There's one. There's my hand. You can barely see it. One of these boards is just a little, just a little loose. The others are nice and tight, but basically... This, this is a board that will fit, it'll fit like right in with the others. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this over. Uh, I'm going to turn it upside down and then I'm going to work from underneath. I'm going to work from the bottom. And, and that way I'll secure this board in place with the others. And let's, yeah, see there, it just slips <laughs> right down. Okay, so I'm going to turn this over and we'll... And uh, maybe I'll have to do this tomorrow when there's more light. Okay, I just went outside and got our solar-powered lantern <laughs> and turned it on and hung it. I don't, I don't know if that helps on the video. It helps me. I can see a lot better. But anyway, like I said, I may have to do the rest of this video tomorrow. Okay, I've turned this over. And... So I've got, I have a board underneath to, to keep, to prop up this board that was a little loose. And so I've got, you know, I've got all the clamps tonight in nice and tight. And that's keeping this more or less square. And so I've got, I've got the boards that form the tabletop. I've got them nice and even. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, lay in some structural members in here 
and and screw everything together uh, with basically with wood screws. And uh, so, and like I said, I got I got some assistance from that little solar powered lamp. And uh, oh, and it looks like maybe maybe the clouds are clearing out a little bit because got a little bit more light now. Okay, and I'm what I do is I I went in with a I took a screwdriver. I, I took this screwdriver, I went in, and I made sure that each of the spaces between the boards was mo more or less even. You know, and, and I made sure that they, you know, that they all are, are more or less level on the inside, so. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play around with this and, you know, some of these other pieces of wood and see, see what I can lay it, lay in here in the way of structure and, you know, I'll put I'll put some legs on this and and we'll see what happens.